Hey, this is Anthony with Rebsol TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Alpine Stars Web GTX boots, available at Rebsol.com. New for 2014, this is the new Web GTX. CE rated, touring, commuting, Gore-Tex, around that $300 mark. Now, we saw them refine the Web GTX over last year's model to my left, and the key theme here is protection and comfort. So again, you're gonna see a more refined style, a little bit more contemporary when you compare both of them to each other, but the three big callouts are as such. First, on the previous version of the web, you can see the profile of the toe box here is a little bit high. Folks were having a tougher time, depending on their bike, getting it under your controls. They've streamlined it here on this web the new version. What they've also done is they've given you flex now on the backside of the boot. So what you're gonna see is elasticated bellows that go all the way up compared to the previous version, and they even give you a wider cutaway at the top if you have a beefier calf. So again, all about ergonomics here. And the last thing from a comfort is really an ease of entry and exit. If we look at the inside of the boot, they're both medial entry and exit points. Remember, it's a Gore-Tex booth, waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life, full Gore-Tex lining here, which is the top of the food chain. But on the new version, you're gonna see now there's a full fully stretch panel that goes all the way down with this zip. So depending on the width of your foot or your sock or your ankle, it's going to be easier to get on and off. Still a YKK zip. And they've also given you a three notch cutaway. You can see it versus a single notch cutaway. And that's going to ease and flex when you're walking around on the boot. So all in the price went up a little bit, but for the new version, it's going to be more functional. It's going to be easier on you. They made some changes that looks a little different. Now the style factor may or may not be your cup of tea. I like that they went a little bit more contemporary with it. But again, in the food chain, you're looking at a big step up over something like the new land. But again, that mono fuse is going to be that more aggressive step up from here. Again, if you want to go up in the food chain. All right, I'm taking my original web and I'm moving it over there. Now we get back into the boot itself. Let's talk about sizing. American cut from Alpine Stars. No surprises here. It's going to be plenty wide enough for the American footbed. No issues. Remember, we do ship for free over 39 bucks. And I'd love it if you'd click here, subscribe to us at YouTube, Revzilla TV, and leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback. Let me know if you like the changes they made. Now moving into the boot itself. Notice it has a little bit more of a shine to it this year where it was matte on the previous version. Classic but contemporary. Stitching on the lateral side just from a style standpoint. They changed the TPU, dual resets. Again, same coverage, doesn't have the A-Star logo, a little bit more muted, a little bit more mature. Moving back onto the side, you're gonna see exposed ankle protection here. TPU in the ankle on the medial and lateral side, nice reinforcement at the toe box, and then the heel is still very stiff and strong with a nice big heel counter that comes up from this vulcanized rubber sole. The sole on the Web GTX has not changed. They didn't screw with it, it worked last time, and they're sticking to their guns. Notice, if we go on the flex scale here, it's going to be about a seven, seven and a half out of 10. I look at it as a great touring and commuter boot because I think it's beefy enough to rock, support you on your bike, but you really don't want to walk around in it all day. It's not going to be that whole put it under jeans and wear it at work all day. It is a little bit stiff from that side of things. Let me give you a quick shot here of the sole. We look at it, anti-slip sole here from Alpine Stars, vulcanized rubber, reinforced, and again, no heel count or toe counter on this guy. Might have come in handy. Maybe they beef it up on the next version of the web. If I open it back up, you know, we talked about the Gore-Tex side of things. Gore-Tex, waterproof, breathable, guaranteed for life. They invented the waterproof membrane. What that means is that Mother Nature can't get any water in. You're not going to get wet. And if you sweat a lot, all that sweat evaporates out from the full grain leather exterior out through the boot, and it's going to give you the best chance to stay comfortable versus getting clammy or getting overly sweaty. Notice that gator comes all the way up, and that's going to be a microfiber mesh towards, here, towards the top here, again, to wick sweat away along your calf. They even give you this seal that comes around, just kind of creating a full closure at the top of the boot. So remember, your new land is your baby brother to this bad boy. The Monofuse is the more tech-inspired, aggressive step up. Again, slight increase in price is the new Web GTX Gore-Tex from Alpine Stars, a staple of their collection, just under that $300 mark. As always, the next step in your journey is to click right here, read other rider reviews at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-92-9455. And as always, we will ship for free. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Web GTX. Remember, subscribe to me at YouTube, RevZilla TV. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.